gonna see today if a BB1911 can stop a Pepsi. Apparently not. Yeah. We're in a pool of Pepsi. All right, now we're gonna see if it can stop a 410. Ooh, this is exciting. Here you guys, we have our adult supervisor, Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hi. All right. Better turn your light on the can. All right, um, camera goes that way. Jeff, um, we're gonna be shooting with a 410. So, yeah. My 410, please. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Now we have a one, two, three. Did I even get it? Yeah, she got it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what our shot made. Alright. I didn't hit it. What? I, I only hit one little speckle right there. Let's try that again, sir. Okay. Thank you. Also, if you don't know, he's my stepdad. Place a light right there. You can go in that one. All right. All right. Camera angle. Camera angle. No. Head light on target. Now that's oh, the way. That's good. the way you do it. I popped that good. I need a flashlight, please. Savage Spencer. Like and subscribe, please. Oh, Jesus. My 16 gauge blew that up. It wasn't a 410. It was 16 gauge. I'm sorry. I get my, I get my guns mixed up. But Jesus, look how that, that pulverized that. That turned that into a human pretzel. Jesus. Good Lord. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later on the next episode. I thought a 14 could actually stop it, but it's because it's so good of a beverage. Now, I think it can't. It pulverized the Pepsi can. So I just say, if you had like 40 Pepsis, or at least around 100, and just made body armor, it would protect you of a terrorist. And that's just because of two layers. But if you laid it out in one layer, it'd have to be 200. So, yeah, like, subscribe. If you want more videos of demolition, do that. Okay? Subscribe to Audi the Dude. Subscribe to A. Robbins. And I'll see you later on the next episode. Bye-bye.